Hi guys, I hope you're all staying well. So in our last week's video, we talked about what is an ISA, individual savings account, and what were the four main different types of ISAs out there. And in this week's video, we will talk in detail five of the most popular stocks and shares ISA that you can start to open your account with. We will talk about the cost, the benefit, and things to look out for when you open an account with them. The first on our list is Trading21 because it's so popular I just wanted to talk about it first. The good thing with Trading21 is that you don't have to pay any annual management platform fee if you hold your ISA with them. They don't charge you to buy or sell any ETF or stock and don't charge you anything for managing your account. So just to clarify, if you do hold ETF with Trading212, any ETF, they do come with annual fee and that figure is t usually taken away from your investment. So you may not see that figure explicitly when you invest with Trading212, but rest assured, they are taking that charges. Other great thing with cost is that they don't charge you anything if you wish to transfer your ISA account from Trading212 to another provider. So the main advantages of using Trading212 for your ISA account is number one, they don't charge you anything for holding your money with them, so no platform fee. Number two, they don't charge you anything for trading an ETF or a stock. And finally, they allow you to buy fractional share. So you don't have to buy one stock or a one share with your money. You can buy 0.2% of one share or 0.1% as you like. This basically means you can get plenty of diversification with a very little amount of money. Now, the big disadvantage with trading 2 and 2 is that you cannot buy any funds, both index or active mutual funds. Second disadvantage is that they have a much smaller universe of ETF and stocks out there for you to buy in compared to other provider. Number three, I would call personally a psychological risk. So because you don't have to pay any charge when you're buying and selling shares, there is this inherent bias for us to make those decisions rather quickly because there is no consequence of having to pay a money against a trading fee, which in my own personal opinion, does not align very well as a long-term investor, which you should really be doing with your ISA or an investment account. Tying to the fact that they charge you nothing to trade or even hold your money, it has a drawback of stability, in my opinion, because this is a rather new provider and because it's offering you to trade with zero cost, they have a lot of hype and momentum around it. This automatically puts a lot of pressure and hype with this platform, just as you saw what happened with GameStop last month. So in my opinion, when I do want to invest a lot of money and hold them in my ISA account, I want some stability with the platform. Another disadvantage is that they don't provide you with any other type of account, such as SIP, self-invested private pension. Some people find it useful to have all your accounts, so your investment, ISA account, and your SIP account, all with the same provider, um, just to make it easy um, to manage your money. But because they don't offer you that, you don't have that option. And the final disadvantage with the trading to and to account is their customer service. From my own experience, and also from reading other people's experiences online, the customer service don't seem to be that great. And because they're still a fairly new company in the market, um, I think they're maybe growing on that. But when you kind of compare it to other providers, you don't really get that customer service as an advantage point. Next, we have Hargis Lansdowne. So with Hargis Lansdowne, you have a platform fee of 0.45% on funds that you hold on your first 250k investment and then it tears down as your investment amount goes up. They also charge 0.45% if you invest in stocks and shares and ETF. However, that number is capped at £45 per annum. Now, when it comes to trading, it is quite expensive. They charge you £11.95 per trade. However, if you are a regular investor into a stock or an ETF, so if you, you know, automated your investment where a certain percentage of your money automatically gets invested into a stock, then the cost of trade goes down to only £1.50. They also have other types of charges that you should be aware of. For example, if you want them to reinvest dividends, then they will charge you 1% on that trade value, up to a maximum of £10. However, reinvestments of dividends on the funds 
are absolutely free. They also charge you a margin on FX. So if you buy a non-UK stock or an ETF, then when they make the conversion between pound and the other international currency, because remember with an ISA, you always have to hold your investment in pound value, then they will add an extra 1% on that conversion margin for themselves. And finally, they don't charge you any money if you want to transfer your ISA to another provider. The first biggest advantage with Hargis Lansdowne is that they are one of the most established and reputable companies out there. Secondly, they also share with you a lot of different research, insights and analysis of the stock market, different funds, different stocks for you to read and educate yourself with. They also provide you with discounted annual fee on some of the mutual funds out there. Because they have been in the market for a long time, they can negotiate to bring the fee down quite a lot from other asset managers. For example, if you invest in Bailey Gifford's Emerging Market Fund, where the charge could be, say, 0.6% per annum, they can bring it down to 0.5% for you since you're investing through HL account. Another advantage is that they have a huge array of investment to choose from across different funds, ETF and stock. Even though they charge you a lot to trade, if you however automate your investment, then the charge can come down quite remarkably to only £1.50 and that's something to keep in mind as well. And the next two advantage is that they have a really good customer service so you can rely on that unlike trading to to. And finally, they allow you to open other types of account as well, such as SIP and Junior ISA. Now, the biggest disadvantage with Hard Gifts Lansdowne is their fees, and those costs can really eat away from your investment values. Second disadvantage, I would say, is their platform design. I mean, I have my ISA account with Hard Gifts Lansdowne, and I think they can do a much better job at designing their website and making it a bit more easy for you to use and more customizable. And the final disadvantage is that they don't yet offer any cash ISA account at the moment. They are however working on it, I think. Third on my list is Vanguard. Vanguard only charges you 0.15% on their platform fee. And that number is capped at £375 if you hold over £250,000 of investment with them. They don't charge you anything to buy or sell their fund. However, if you want to buy their ETF at the market price, they will charge you £7.50. They also don't charge you anything to transfer your ISA out to another provider. Biggest advantage is that Vanguard, as well as being a reputable established company, they also provide you with the cheapest platform fee of only 0.15%. Therefore, it is great for a simple and efficient way of investing your money. It can be particularly good for beginners since Vanguard have their own lifestyle strategy where we don't have to pick any fund for yourself, you simply invest in one of their lifestyle strategy projects and they will do that job for you based on your risk tolerance. And finally, they also offer Cash ISA, Junior ISA and SIP. Now the biggest disadvantage with Vanguard, which is the only reason why I don't have an account with them, well I did before but then I moved to HL, is that they only offer you to buy their own fund. So not only that, you cannot buy any stocks, um, or other types of ETF into your investment account. So at the moment, there are only about 75 different options to choose from when you're thinking of investing with Vanguard. And finally, they don't offer you a LISA account at the moment. They're still working on it. Now, the fourth on the list is Interactive Investor. Interactive Investor have three different types of account to choose from. Investor, Funds Fan, and Super Investor. If you open an investor account, you will pay $9.99 per month. If you open a funds fan account, it's $13.99 and a super investor account at $19.99 per month. The good thing is that this fee or flat fee goes across multiple accounts. Now, when it comes to trading in an investor account, you get one free trade per month and then you have to pay $7.99 per trade. Also, if you buy an international stock, you have to pay $19.99 per trade. If you have a funds fan account, then you get two free trades per month and you also pay $7.99 per share. However, you only pay $3.99 if you trade funds. Again, you pay $19.99 for international stock. Finally, as a super investor, you get two free trades per month. You only pay $4.99 for stock trading and ETF and $3.99 for funds. However, you only pay $9.99 for international stock. Moving on to other type of costs on FX, again, if you buy a non-UK shares, you pay a 1.5% margin on the exchange rate. Also, if you want to reinvest your dividend, you have to pay them 99 pence. And finally, they don't charge you any money if you want to transfer your ISA account from them to another provider. 
So the biggest advantage with II is that you only pay a flat fee across multiple different accounts and that can really save you a lot of money if you have a lot of money. Next, they also provide you with great amount of expert analysis and insight knowledge that can help you make good investment decisions. They also provide you with a variety of investment products just like Hard Gives Lansdowne. And finally, they are good for regular investors. So if you automate your investments, then you don't really have to worry about those high trading fees. So you can really bring that cost down say from 7.99 to zero if you automate your investments with them the biggest disadvantage with ii is that if you have a little amount of money so if you are not starting with a lot of money then those flat fee can be a huge percentage of your total asset so you don't want to pay say 7.99 pound per month if you only open your isa account with 500 pounds second disadvantage is the high trading cost especially if you want to buy international stocks so then you have to pay 19.99 and the third disadvantage is that they charge you to buy funds, which I find rather weird. So for example, as you saw with HL, they don't charge you anything if you want to buy or sell into funds. Talking of HL, they also don't offer you any discounted product into mutual funds, which can really help if you are investing into an actively managed mutual fund. Moving on to our final provider, AJ Bell. AJ Bell charges you a little less platform fee compared to Hargis Lansdowne at 0.25%. And when you're buying and selling, they charge you 1.50 for funds and they charge you 9.95 when you're buying and selling shares and ETF. If you do regular reinvestment, then your charge of trade goes down to only 1.50. If you want your dividend to be reinvested, then they also charge you 1% on that value to a maximum of 9.95. Again, if you're buying a non-UK stock, then they charge you 1% extra on your FX amount and if you want to transfer your money out of HFL to another provider, they will also charge you $9.95 per holding. The biggest advantage with AJ Bell is that they are annually cheaper compared to other providers like HL. And secondly, they also allow you to have multiple different accounts across SIP. Lysa, Junior Lysa, and other fixed rate cash savings account. They also provide you with a lot of variety of options when it comes to funds, stocks, and ETF. They also share with you a good amount of research and educational videos so that you can learn to invest better. The biggest disadvantage with AJ Bell is that they charge you money when you're buying and selling into funds. They also have a transfer out fees and they offer you with less option than HL. And finally, they don't provide you with the amount of discount that HL offers when it comes to mutual funds. So to summarize, trading 20 of course looks really good on the surface um, because you are not having to pay any fees at all. However, personally, I just don't see myself holding a lot of money with trading 2 on 2 in an ISA account for many years to come. Unless, of course, things change from their side. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they are not safe. They are regulated and your money is also protected up to £85,000 by FSCS if you hold your money with trading 2 on 2, just like any of the other providers out there. Now, Vanguard stands out to me clearly from the fees perspective as well as the reputation that they have. They do offer you with a very clean and efficient and simple way of getting exposure in the stock market and investing your money through an ISA. Now finally, for those who want a bit more option when it comes to their investments, the next three providers are kind of in close competition. Out of the three, in my opinion, those with a much higher amount of money to invest, say above 50k, then from that point onward, interactive investment starts to get a bit more interesting because your percentage amount of fees that goes to the platform reduces significantly. Other than that, if you are investing with little amount of money, then II is a clear no-no in my opinion. Now, between AJ Bell and Hargibs Lansdowne, obviously by looking at the platform fee, AJ Bell is a lot cheaper by 0.2% annually. However, you have to keep in mind that with AJ Bell, there are two things to uh, think of. For number one, you have to pay fund fee. So when you're buying and selling funds, you have to pay them a fee. And secondly, you're not going to get any discount when you buy into some of the mutual funds that HL offers you through their own negotiation. So for example, if you hold say £50,000, then the annual fee difference between HL and AJ Bell is only £100 per year. And this comes down to zero if, for example, you've traded 66 times into funds over the last year. That's when the annual fees kind of cancels out. Investing with II 
AI interactive investor starts to pay off as your amount of money goes up. So as your investment value goes up from £50,000, it might be an interesting time to see what interactive investor has to offer. Well, that's all for today. I hope you found this video useful. Do let me know which one is your favorite ISA provider in the comment section below. And until next time, look after yourself and your money.